Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, the 6th of March. I'm James Spann, cold and wet today and tonight, but the weekend will be much nicer. Let's go in there and uh, take a look. Water vapor satellite view, very vigorous upper trough approaching from the west. It'll be digging through here today with uh, a lot of rain. There's the radar early this morning. That was captured at 512. Uh, the rain was widespread along the Interstate 55 corridor in Mississippi. And that'll just be rolling on through here uh, this afternoon and tonight. So get ready for that. Starting off the day with 30s over the Tennessee Valley, 40s around here, 45 along I-20. And these numbers won't change a lot for us. We'll just kind of hover in the mid to upper 40s all day today. And later, as the rain begins to fall, the numbers could come down due to dynamic cooling. The air aloft is very cold with that feature. Around the nation, still brutally cold up in the northeast. But the numbers are slowly coming up. Temperatures are moderating. And we're going to feel much better by the time we get to the weekend. On the watch warning map, we have winter weather advisories in effect for parts of uh, North Carolina, Virginia. They could see some freezing rain issues uh, late tonight, early tomorrow morning. And some scattered problems up on the Canadian border. But generally speaking, things are uh, pretty calm around here. This is the rain for the next five days through Tuesday morning of next week, about one half inch here. Heavier totals east of our state. Let's take a look at modeling the GFS, the 06Z run. Valid at uh, 12 noon. By the way, starting, you know, Monday of next week, we'll be showing you the OZ run because we have the time change this weekend. Uh, we lose an hour of sleep. We get the model data an hour later. Uh, but we go back on daylight saving time early Sunday morning. Anyway, you can see that vigorous trough digging in here. This is at 500 millibars. And down below that, got a, a surface low near Tampa. Uh, up on the top of that, we'll have that moist easterly flow. And it's just wet. This is noon off the high-res NAM. Uh, so periods of rain likely uh, late this morning, this afternoon, into the evening hours. Now, this is 6 o'clock this evening, and really the model wants to kind of move the rain out pretty quickly. It kind of suggests maybe our main window for the rain uh, would be from 10, 11 o'clock this morning until 6, 7 o'clock this evening. It's still got rain up in the northeastern part of the state, but the really big rains over Georgia. 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, some hint. There still could be some lingering rain for Gadsden and Fort Payne and Center and Leesburg up in northeast Alabama. But for the bulk of the state, the rain should be over by then. This is noon tomorrow coming back off the GFS. A deep surface low is off the coast of North Carolina. And it should be a day where we have clouds during the morning giving way to sunshine during the afternoon. And the high should be in the low 60s if the sun can break out. And Saturday looks pretty nice. Should be a partly to mostly sunny day with a high around 70. Here, nice and dry. There is a weak front to the north, but really that's just not going to make a whole bunch of difference. That kind of slips through Saturday night in dry fashion. Sunday, the temperatures might drop a little bit. I don't know if you notice it. In fact, the latest GFS has a high of 68 on Sunday. Really don't think you'll notice the difference between 70 and 68. Uh, the sky on Sunday should be uh, sunny. Should be a great weekend for whatever you want to do outdoors. Monday, hey, how about mid-70s? That'll feel good. Thickness values coming way up, nice and mild, if not warm for March. Uh, pretty much the same deal on Tuesday. We got that wave down in the western Gulf. And then Wednesday, uh, evidence that will be our next chance of showers and how much rain, how that next feature lifts out of the southwest United States, a lot of uncertainty here, but there's decent consistency in the idea of that being our next chance of showers and doesn't look like any severe weather problems. And then a week from today, ooh, look at the energy starting to come down from the Great Lakes. That's going to rebuild that eastern trough, and it starts to turn colder uh, Thursday of next week. As highs with that look would drop into the 50s with a cool north breeze. 
What well, there? If you check a few more days later, this is the 19th. That looks like a decent rain event, maybe some thunder. And then at the end of the forecast on the 21st, have a southwest flow aloft. That would be kind of mild and showery. Look at the cold air over the northern states. Uh, don't you know they are ready for spring up there? That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.